Get ready to run! To win this race in the streets of LA, you've got to run hard because you're about to be chased by a world-class athlete known as Defenders. And their only job is to protect the million-dollar prize. I'm the first African-American professional triathlete. I'm fearless, I don't get tired, and this runner has nothing on me. I'm addicted to pushing myself. I'm addicted to pain, and I don't think that anything's gonna phase me. I'm great at running, climbing, jumping. No one's gonna win that million dollars. In total, I have more than 20 years of free running and parkour experience, and I've won every single competition I attended in my life. No one can beat me. Probably my greatest advantage is I'm just devilishly handsome. Pound for pound, the strongest athlete in the world when it comes to running. You can't keep up with me when it comes to doing strength work, and you can't keep up with me when it comes to footwork either. I am a fourth year medical student at Harvard. I'm an All American in the 1500 meters. It might be easy to underestimate me, but you might be surprised. I'm from Vermont, and I was a Division I soccer, track, and cross country athlete. I'm an animal on the field, I've got tenacity and grit. These runners don't stand a chance. I've won over 30 plus races. I know the runner gets a head start, but I do this full time, so you're stepping in my ground. At the age of 16, I won my first Spartan race. That's the record for the youngest race winner in history. If you want someone that's gonna protect a million dollars, I'm your guy. There is no runner that is gonna beat me. And faster than them, I'm stronger than them. I was a member of the U.S. Army Green Berets. I've got the military background, the obstacle technique. This is what I'm the best at. A million Dollar Mile is unlike anything else, and I'm going to go out there and defend it. From executive producers LeBron James and Maverick Carter, and hosted by Tim Tebow, do you have what it takes to win? The Million Dollar Mile premieres March 27th on CBS.